Hurricane Hillary leaves at least one person dead in Baja California Sur. The phenomenon is downgraded to Category 1 with winds of 130 km per hour and will make landfall in San Quintin, Baja California, at noon on Sunday. The images are really impressive. Hurricane Hillary has already wreaked havoc as it passed through the Baja California Peninsula. At least one man has died in the community of Santa Rosalia, in Baja California Sur, when his car was swept away by a stream caused by heavy rains in the region. The meteorological phenomenon has made landfall for the first time during the early hours of Sunday. At 4.30 a.m., Central Mexico time, the eye of the hurricane has advanced over the coast of Punta Eugenia and has crossed the Natividad and Cedros Islands, and then returned to the sea, as reported by the Meteorological Service of Mexico. The cyclone has been degrading in recent hours and has gone from reaching Category 4 on the Saphir simpson scale to being reduced to Category 1 as it approaches the coasts of the peninsula. Hillary presents winds of 130 km per hour and gusts of up to 155 km per hour. She has also accelerated her pace with a speed of 33 km per hour. The forecast is that it makes landfall at noon in the community of San Quintin in Baja, California. The meteorologist's forecast indicates that once on land, the phenomenon will become a tropical storm. The National Hurricane Center of the United States has indicated that the passage of Hillary can cause catastrophic rains and threatening floods in Baja California and the south of the state of California. From San Quintin, the storm would move up the peninsula to reach Ensenada, Rosarito and Tijuana, before crossing the U.S.-Mexico border and reaching San Diego. Hillary will continue to cause heavy rains in the south of the state of California, where the first tropical storm watch in history has already been issued for that region. The Mexican government has installed 37 shelters in the main cities of the peninsula. The Tijuana City Council has closed Playas de Tijuana, one of the busiest entertainment centers in the border city, to the public. The DN3 plan of the Mexican army has also been implemented, which has mobilized 18,000 soldiers to help the population affected by the heavy rains. The hurricane season in the Pacific begins in the month of May of each year, June 1st in the case of the Atlantic, and ends at the end of November. This year, it started with Cyclone Adrian and Tropical Storm Brett, the first approached Mexico through the Pacific area, and the second through the Atlantic. They were followed by other phenomena such as Hurricane Beatrice, which threatened the West Mexican coasts with 120 km per hour winds and ended up dissipating off the coast of Jalisco. If you found the information relevant, do not hesitate to comment, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.